Shalom everybody. Um, I'm Lacey, of course, and for my vlog this week, I'm going to show you guys how I make zucchini bread. Okay, so the last time I tried to do this video, my computer kind of went all wacky on me. So I went ahead and mixed all the ingredients together, but I will explain to you guys how, like what steps I take and the different ingredients that I have. And so, yeah, but it's already all mixed together, so I'm sorry. Okay. So first, you want to mix together three eggs. I have the eggshells. <laughs> there, we use farm fresh eggs, but obviously you don't have to use that. Um, then two cups of sugar, and I ran out of regular sugar, white sugar, so I used brown sugar. And I was tasting the dough because dough tastes amazing, and um, it tasted really good. So you can use white sugar, you can use brown sugar. I would even think you could use like honey and if you aren't a big sugar person you could even use Splenda I just don't think that that would taste good because I personally think Splenda is disgusting okay and then you want to use a cup of butter and what I would suggest using is getting the like getting a box of the stick butter get unsalted because it's healthier for you and um, one stick is eight tablespoons so it takes two of these to get to a cup and what I do because I, I personally think it's easier when you're mixing up your zucchini dough is I put it in the microwave and either soften it or I melt it. I do not stick it right out of the fridge into the thing because it's a lot harder to mix up. Um, so once you put in your three eggs, two cups of sugar, and one cup of butter, you want to mix that up really good. And then you want to add three cups of flour. You can use regular flour like this. or you can use wheat flour or you can even use like buckwheat or things like that um, and then you want one teaspoon of baking powder and then one teaspoon of baking soda our baking soda is in this big container because my mom uses it to clean and then one teaspoon of cinnamon I can't say the actual word but you know what I mean ground cinnamon and then one or half a teaspoon of nutmeg now this is really critical you want to make sure you really put in one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg because one t time bleh, I we don't have a teaspoon measure we have a half a teaspoon so I ended up putting in like five of these things and of the nutmeg when it called for only half of it and the bread tastes weird so you need to really make sure that you're getting the ingredients right and then you want to mix all that together so that's three cups of flour one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of the nutmeg and then so you want to mix that all together and then you want to add two teaspoons of vanilla just pure vanilla extract is what we get and then two cups of shredded zucchini. Now the zucchini can either be um, like fresh zucchini that you shred up and when you shred it, if it's a big zucchini, you want to make sure that you peel, take the peel off first. But if it's a tiny zucchini, you can just shred the peel with it. Because um, it's really hard to shred the zucchini with a peel, plus it makes it taste weird. And or So you can either use a fresh zucchini that you shredded or Last summer we had a bunch of zucchinis that we got that we bought from a garden stand, and um, so we shredded that up and we put it in the freezer. So over the winter I've been making a lot of zucchini bread because I have zucchini. So um, you can take frozen shredded zucchini. You just want to make sure it's shredded, not in chunks or anything like that. Um, not mashed either because that would be weird. So then you want to mix all of that up really good, and then um, even like. If you use frozen zucchini, then um, when you thaw it out, you want to make sure it's thawed first, too, by the way. When you thaw it out, it will um, have like a lot of liquid in it, and you can dump that liquid into your dough, too. It will actually make it a lot better and a, like easier to pour. And so once you mix all those ingredients together, your dough should look like this. And when you move it around, it should be not really runny, but it should, like, move with your bowl. So, like I said, it should look like this. Um, but if you can really see it, I don't want to dump it out. Um, okay, 
Now, once you get all of that mixed together, I really like to actually make zucchini muffins. I think they're delicious. So you can just take like your cupcake, um, I don't know what you call those, your cupcake holder things, little paper things, and then put them in a muffin holder and then fill it in with the dough. Or you can take um, bread pans and fill those in. But before you do that, you want to make sure you have it nice and greased with I prefer using butter because, again, it's healthier than putting oil in it or that Pam spray stuff or anything like that. And um, once again, use unsalted butter. I really, really, really would suggest not using margarine because that's less nasty. Okay, so you want to either put it in your muffin pan and you want to make the little cupcake holders gr greased with the butter too, or you want to put it in your um, loaf pan and make sure it's greased with the butter. And then you will bake it at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And um, after 40 minutes, sometimes it does not get cooked all the way, so you want to stick either stick a fork in it or a toothpick or something and pull it out. And if there's still like some doughy stuff on it, you want to cook it probably only about five more minutes at the most, maybe even a little bit less than that, because you don't want to overcook your bread. Um, that's about it. You can also, if you want to, I don't usually, actually I've never done this, you can put icing on it and that's, that tastes really good to put it on top of it. So you can try doing that. Um, also, I have put before, I put like craisins in my zucchini bread and I put um, chocolate chips in my zucchini bread and things like that and that tastes really good. Um, even if you want to make banana bread but you don't have enough banana, you can um, put however much banana you have in it and then put th for the rest put zucchini in it and the zucchini will adapt to the taste of the banana so it'll end up tasting just like banana bread but it has zucchini in it so I thought that was really neat um, so that is all that I have I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will have um, all the ingredients and everything written out in the description so without further ado shalom hope y'all have blessed with you all bye